Hey everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program RP0. So I, I've had this uh, itch about this space plane thing ever since I started prototyping one uh, a couple episodes ago. Two episodes ago? One episode ago. And I really want to see if I can make a, an, a shuttle orbiter design work on 1960s technology based on what little we have available to us. So I'm going to try to just slap a different prototype together based on an idea I've been running through my head all day and <clears throat> uh, I hope you guys like it so here goes right so obviously we start off with the same cockpit and I think I figured out a way to make this cargo bay work and it was uh, yeah to place that little interim tank there to deal with the offset on the node and so now I'm just setting up this little tank to be uh, life support and give them about two weeks duration give or take um, We'll slap some batteries on here because I don't think that <clears throat> there's going to be enough placement for solar panels to make it work. All right, now uh, I'm going to go with, well, I'm going to try two J2s as far as the uh, main lifting engines, and I'm going to go with these uh, lunar module ascent engines as far as our orbital maneuvering system. Um, yeah, I guess I did not line them up very well after all, but anyway, uh, Trying to adjust some things here in the nose cone just to bring our total mission duration to about 25 or so days. But we're going to need another core, so we're going to throw that Agena in there and tuck it in the fuel tanks. Now as far as the wing surfaces, um, I'm not really sure about the temperature ranging of these, but I'm going to give them a try. And If not, then I know we've got some of the procedural wing parts that we can use. Uh, more or less pretty happy with that. I think that'll give us a fairly decent aerodynamic uh, profile. And then we'll just get our uh, control surfaces set up and our tail planes. Make sure they're clear of the boosters and get all of our control surfaces programmed appropriately. And of course, the addition of landing gears. Sweet. And now it's time to do the external fuel tank. Yeah, maybe add some struts just for good measure. All right. And kind of this tapered teardrop design I'm kind of a big fan of because why not also we're gonna need that computer core um, the problem is is getting a tank big enough to satisfy the eight minutes of burn time those J2's will allot us while still keeping a form factor now I've added those side tanks and oh yes RCS thrusters the big ones but those will probably have to be moved and placed around differently. Now, these uh, Minuteman boosters are the biggest boosters that we have available to us right now. All right, so uh, let's take it for a quick simulation. 15 minutes should be good enough to prove that this thing will explode. 43,000 credits cost. My God. Oh, this thing is horribly expensive. <laughs> this is just... My God. All right, we're not even running these J2s at their full runtime. All right, still nighttime. Very sorry. Uh, it's been many days since I last did this. I like game, game days, not actual days. Anyway, so uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna give this a roll. All right, J2 ignition. They are lit. SRBs and boosters. Why? Where's my prograde vector? Oh, we're in orbital mode. Why are we in orbital mode? Oh god, it's fighting me. It's really fighting me. Roll it. Let's see if we can't bring this back. like many more angles yeah so our our thrust angle is certainly very off I guess we're going north all right booster set comes very early with these Minuteman boosters they are very expensive also I notice as far as SRBs are concerned
level it in there. Hopefully. RCS system engaged. Boosters are out and away. Oh, they bounce off the wings a bit. But we, uh, we're still pretty stable. I... nope. Still wants to roll quite a bit. We're just gonna lay in and fight it. As best we can. Oh, that's entirely too much. I'm either really good at fighting with it or really bad. There is no in-between. Apogee is coming close to crossing, well, we've crossed the Carmen line, but it's close to being actually spaceward. There it is. We will be going to space today. We will be nowhere near orbital speeds, however. I did not include parachutes. That's okay, it's just a simulation. It looks like we're going to Canada anyway. Ah, oh, engine failure, that's not fair! <laughs> Alright, we'll separate the external tank and let it grind off the front of the spacecraft. And now we are just we. And probably have to ullage our engines here. Very stable. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are we still doing the spin thing? Or was that induced all because of the engines? I thought I had them lined up with the center of mass. Well, this would be good things to know. Alright, we're in space, so we're probably going to time warp to stop the roll because again these thrusters are just not enough yep they are in fact offset and they do not gimbal so we are gonna get some roll we'll need to correct that good to know good to know and I guess uh, really we don't really need to know if Oh, I only have the two thrusters doing, well, three thrusters doing roll. All right, well, this is really slow as far as reentry speeds are concerned. So we're just going to come in a little heavy since we're still f completely full of fuel. And no, I don't. I want surface mode. Where's my prograde vector? It's probably way down there. I don't need to point a prograde. I really, I just do not. All right, let's, uh, falling like a brick. I have no idea if this aircraft's going to be stable, just as a heads up. Got so much fuel left, though. All right. Well, we have fallen into our prograde. We pull up a bit. That sounds like things tumbling and exploding. Oh, good gosh. Come on. Fight it, fight it, fight it, fight it, fight it. Here come some pretty harsh reentry effects. We should be okay. This is really low speed. Oh no. What is happening? reaching G limit. That's nice. Well, yeah. <laughs> That's good to know. All right, we killed everybody in a simulation. So this design obviously needs some work, but that's why we prototype like this. So uh, that's going to do it for us today, guys. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. I do appreciate it. If you've got any suggestions, criticisms, comments, you know, uh, please um, help me out load them up in the comments below let me know if you have uh, any idea if maybe we can build a space shuttle on 1960s technology 
because it's looking kind of bleak. But uh, I think if we iron out a few details and don't have an engine failure, this is certainly a suborbital candidate. Although we might have to go a little bigger if uh, orbit is going to be achieved with some of this tech. So, all right. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. I do appreciate it. I will see all of you tomorrow.